Welcome, everybody. I know that recently it seems that City Skylines has flopped, and I actually asked some of my subscribers on the channel what they thought about it, and they all agreed that it, well, didn't perform as well as they'd hoped. And it seems that the devs are feeling that way too. But I'm here to tell you that I think there's some hope for this game. I think that the game could progress, and it could actually get better and fix some of the issues that I talked about in my last City Skylines video, link in the description. So, first of all, let's address the new, the new hotfix update. They basically introduced some nice patches, nice hotfixes, and balancing changes, which are immensely important. See, they, they, uh, they changed some of the trade, miscalculations in college, all of this sort of stuff that made the game really annoying is now like getting a bit better and this shows for me that there is hope for this game hope that this game can overcome its past challenges so let's look at some of the things that they've changed in this recent hotfix and then what i think they're going to be changing in the future so first of all they've changed the leisure time probability to balance the no customer situation because the no customers that was a real issue and um well, I mean, I haven't actually noticed much changing, but well, improved balance of company's profit, yes. And just a bunch of other stuff, some little nice, nice things that they've improved. Quality of life fixes, I'd call them. But where I think the game is going is not adding in new items, because the, the game is filled with stuff right now. I mean, I would love to see bicycles in the game or something like that, because, I mean, that is how a lot of people get around, but... Um, besides that, I think that what Paradox is going to be doing now is, first of all, improving performance. That was the biggest thing. So they're definitely going to be trying to optimize their game within the next month, I'm going to say. Then, perhaps in the next two or three months, they want to be fixing, I'm going to say, the economy. They want to fix it, even though... The Paradox devs have disclosed that it's working as intended. I think that they still want to fix it because of the immense dissatisfaction of the majority of the players. So I think that that'll happen. And then perhaps around the five month mark, they're probably going to be releasing their first DLC. But other than that, I think they're just going to be fixing the other the other bugs like the no customers, the um, the not enough workers. Uh, they want to be fixing the urban sprawl, I think. Because uh, that's really annoying. Uh, and I think they're just going to be fine-tuning the game. So my guess is by six months or something, the game will be in a much, much better state than it is now. And I think it'll be uh, around the similar condition of City Skylines 1. So now that we know City Skylines has hope, I want to thank you all so much for watching this Funky Monkey video. I know it was short, but I think this information needed to get, get out rather quickly even though they uh, didn't upload anything new. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to like and subscribe. It really does help the channel. So thank you all so much for watching. Goodbye.